Four years ago, we bought this little cottage tucked down into the orchards. And I don't know if my realtor could see it at the time, but I could, and I could see exactly what I wanted to create with this space. Alas, Rome was not built in a day, and it's taken us four years to get to where we are now, and there's still so much that we want to take care of in this house. But piece by piece, the bird builds its nest, as my daughter says, and this next piece of the puzzle was finally dealing with the living room floor, which has been plywood since we tore up the carpet four years ago. We had to call in the big guns, didn't we, Still, We Help. did. We, we called in Uncle Jeremy once again. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, he has his hands all over this house. He really does. At this point. He really does. But this was very helpful because he works at a lumber mill uh, part-time in Portland, Oregon, called the Double Cobra. And he milled up some white oak that they chopped down there and... Portland and we've had it sitting in our barn curing for the last 90 days I've been counting while Uncle Jeremy was Working on the floor for a bit, we had to keep our eye on some of our animals because one of them, it looked like, was getting ready to give us a new little lamb. And frankly, when I'm stressed, this is exactly where I want to be. I make a latte. I go sit up at the barn. I pet my animals, give them some love. And on a sunny February day, I there's really nowhere else I'd rather be in the whole wide world. Is that weird? So another special thing while this project was going on was this was Valentine's week mm. and you made big plans for, I did for Valentine's because, dinner. Because, you know, when everyone's laboring so hard and the whole house is all torn up from construction, having a really delicious meal to look forward to and sit down with is such a gift. So I ordered some special foods in from Washington State. We had oysters and peas and asparagus and fiddlehead ferns and you know the idea was just to create a really delicious dinner to keep everyone's spirits high i think it worked it was a really good dinner and we were so excited about eating it that we actually didn't take any video of <laughs> the final that's true product. <laughs> that's true but we also had company for this meal we had a number a uh, family of seven come to have supper with us so as it goes
This living room part of the house was built in the 1960s. The older part of the house was built in 1900. And so getting these two parts of the house to marry has been a process. But I feel like now that the living room floor is done, we're really finally getting there. It just feels like it all finally fits together. And my very favorite part of any project is when I get to come in at the end and what I call fluff, which means I get to fluff up all the spaces. I get to move things around, dress things up, dust things off, and finally put the polishing touches on the space. And I have to tell you, even though this room has only been finished for about a week, we've already used it to the gills. It has seen families and big meals and small meals and tears and laughter. And that's exactly what I could hope for for this space. One of the benefits of doing a project like this is you get to reassess the space. And um, after living in it for four years, you get an idea of what is working and what's not working. And so we actually rearranged things quite a bit, moved the piano, moved some furniture around, and it really completely changed the feel of how the room works. I was never able to find the perfect coffee table at all the antique stores I've gone to pillage. So I just took it out for now. And we had a group over for supper and there were 13 children between all of us. And I was surprised at how quickly they took to the wool rug in the middle of the room and they were playing Legos and hanging out with us. And I thought, you know, maybe this is actually the way it's supposed to be. It's open, it's family style, it's relaxed. And that's how I want it to feel. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So we got this done in time now for us to turn our attention more outside. And that's what's next. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>